What's going on, everybody? Hey. Uh, welcome to the best podcast, your favorite podcast, dare I say, in all of anywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, what's going on? <laughs> follow us. <laughs> oh, yes. Please follow us everywhere at 77 Flavors Shy. That's TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, even our website is 77flavorsshy.com. Let's go. Check that shit out because Dario worked on it really, really hard. Hey, your boy was uh, um, elbow greasing it, boy. Elbow greasing it. Yeah. Is that a, <laughs> a new word? It's a, yeah, no. Well, a verb. Kind of. Verbage. Kind of. Yeah. What's the trivia? Trivia. Trivia time. Let's get it. Uh, how time. large is Chicago's headway system? <laughs> okay. I thought you were going to say. <laughs> no, no. Wait. <laughs> Slow down. The largest Chicago's. No. <laughs> uh, well, we'll uh, get uh, situated and uh, we'll tell you the answer after the break. But right now, 77 Flavors of Chicago. It's Sarah. And it's Dario. And we traveled through all of Chicago's 77 community areas. We shared some great stories and took you to our favorite restaurants. But you know what? There's more Chicago history and food to discover. So join us as we connect you to the greatest city in the world. You know why? Because this is 77 Flavors of Chicago. Yo, That's the second yo. It is second In, yo. Uh, three minutes. Man, that, that, uh, that intro was 19 seconds. Hope y'all uh, thought, thought fast. <laughs> <laughs> you either know it or you don't. Yeah, right. Shit. Most people are sitting in their car. They're just like... Eh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, um, they I fit. think I think the lo- okay. How how large is Chicago's pedway system? Yeah, I guess it's multi uh, multifaceted here, so you can kind of give us a couple dimensions here. A couple dimensions, I would say. Like thinking of it goes through downtown. Yeah. So downtown is what like three miles th- by three miles. I don't know. No, hell no, not three miles by three four miles. Four by four? No, not even no. Two by two? I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't even know. Yeah, <laughs> I know it ain't that wide. It's, it's at least. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I was already on the end. Just, <laughs> There's no camera, so we're acting wild. You know, you and your jammy jams. All right, here. Uh, did you, you know it? Uh, I don't know. Seven miles. Close. Very close. Uh, it is five miles. Oh. Okay. And forty blocks. Damn. Forty blocks. Yes. Yes. Uh, if you knew that. Uh, congratulations. Yeah. You congratulations. Win yeah. Right. Here's here's your coin. You know, yeah, uh, you, could tell, you could also tell people that you knew this and then they won't believe you. <laughs> right. No, <laughs> and and nobody you, going. You have to be sitting at your desk with somebody yeah, and, listening at li- the same time. And then, be like, oh, I told you, I told you, you know, and then uh, both of y'all go back to work. Yeah. <laughs> you have a group setting of podcast listening. Yeah. Uh, how you doing? Good. My back hurts. Yeah. You, you um, out here chilling too. I'm laying almost flat. Yeah. Uh, but the, the the reason my back hurts is because I decided, okay, so my, <laughs> no, I had a funny, my no. boy was doing, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. not, the reason my back, hurt, my, I have, I have always had pain in my lower back, just like chronic. I live with it. It is what it is. But, um, I decided to do a puzzle and sit down at, on a chair for six hours. Mm. And I ignored every time my Apple Watch told me, time to stand. Yeah, you said no. You know what I mean? Well past that. Um, and I, I sat down for too long. So now my back hurts. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, hey, you almost finished the puzzle. It's almost done. It's almost done. You're missing it's, one piece, though. <laughs> yeah, it's lost. <laughs> yeah, that's that's wild as hell. That's so, wild. Uh, you know, I've owned this puzzle for just, six years. Just found out. Yeah. Just found out that, that one of the main pieces is gone. Sad. Uh, again, my week has been great. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I mean, I was we just we just fi- I just sighed. <laughs> it's time to at the end of my sentence. Hey, look, your boy you anxious made to tell about yourself. How was your week, Dario? Hey, let me tell you. Uh, great. You know, it's it's great. Here's why it's great. Why? Uh, that website that we talked about. That website. Hey, that website lit, y'all. Like it's it's really dope. Uh, y'all need to it's super go simple, check it out. Simple and user friendly. So yes. I think you'll enjoy it. All things 77. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, and make it make it easy for you to listen to the podcast. Find out where we'll be. Yeah. So there's, yeah. A, there's a portion on the on the website that is called Around Town. About Town. Around Town. Around, around uh, the Town. And it's basically, like, events that we're going to be at. Or in the future, it'll be, like, you know, if we're covering a specific event, 
it, it's basically like a recommendation list yeah. of where you sh- you can go to check things out. Um, and but the the events on there right now are events that we're hosting in the yes. next few weeks. Yeah, with so, uh, with our partner World Business Chicago. Yeah, buddy. Oh, no, where's the where's the air horn? There it is. Yeah, I rearranged the button so everything in sync. Except for that money coin. That, that mm. bad boy's still right there, you know? Mm-hmm. Yep, still there. I ain't even got to look. Yep. Uh, but we are with the World Business Chicago, partnering with them. Uh, yeah. First activation is going to be January, January 26th. 26th. Come out and see us, and we're going to be talking we about. We are going to be in the first floor of the Hancock building. Yes, yes, yes first floor, where the uh, old-ass uh, Best, Best Buy, Buy used to be. Used to be. Punk and they ain't hiring. Anyway. They, they uh, did hire you. You worked no, there. No, no, no. Not oh, at that one. Oh, oh, and not at that one. Don't get me started. Uh, <laughs> but but no, we're gonna be talking about the Union Stockyards and how that relates to food. So, uh, come out and, and join us. Yeah, yeah, get some free food. Look at the look at the local shops that are in there in the space. Yeah, um, it'll yeah, be yeah. Dope. It'll be dope. yeah, dope. Uh, let's 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 go ahead and get into it. Let's let's go ahead and get into it. Are you ready to get tuned up? Damn, well, I still didn't oh, change this button. Did I? I hate this button. Come on, yes. now you you hate it after eighty. Look at this shit. Damn. Okay, <laughs> let's get ready, y'all. We're talking about uh, the payway system. And payway. before we get so really sweet. going, um, let's just, uh, let me just tell you this. We are episode 96. Oh, shit. We're yes. about to hit 100. Yeah, about to hit 100. In let's, a month? Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Wow. Um, so, yeah, we'll, uh, in, in a month. Does that mean the Valentine's Day episode will be our one month? Is it? Or 90? Shit. 100, I mean. Wow. I said all Oh, hey, that'd be perfect. Date night, honey. Hey, we hey. planned this shit. Uh, no, but we let's talk. Not plan no, we did not. Let's talk about the Pepway system. Let's talk about the Pepway system. Pepway system is very interesting. Okay, um, the Pepway system is one of the Chicago's like hidden treasures. Almost his hidden because it's underground, but mm. it's. it's it's got a weird start, okay? okay. Uh, and for those of you that don't know what the Pedway system is, or if you've never traversed the Pedway system, traverse. You know, look at your boys, uh, the upgraded words and everything. Is that, is that this the, podcast, the toilet paper that gives you word of the day. Is it? There is one. <laughs> really? Yeah, there's toilet paper that every time you t- take out a piece of toilet paper, it tells you word of the day. I feel like the only way you read that is if you're taking a shit. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, that's you, oh, oh, you so poop every day. I guess you, instead of being on your phone, you could learn. I mean, <laughs> learn some shit. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Learning shit. Learning <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay, stop. We should we should release a brand a new brand of toilet paper where it has Chicago facts on it. Learn it. Oh. And then as you're pooping, learn some shit. Learn oh. some shit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's that's hey. fire. Oh goodness, any, I'm sorry. Any toilet paper manufacturers that are listening you know you know, right Bronny, if you want a stronger picker up. <laughs> Okay, look, damn it. All right. All right, look, Pedway system. Oh, that was, that was. Pedway system. But, so, uh, like I said, if you haven't been down there, if you haven't, uh, if you if you don't even know what this it is. This is my first time down there. It, I, yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool down there. And we obviously didn't touch on a lot of it, you know, but the Pedway system started uh, in 1951 with the tunnel between Dearborn and State. And those yeah. are the... Uh, Blue and uh, red, red lines. Line stops. Uh, yeah. So, um, and it started, like I said, 1951. Now, here's how it started. Uh, it actually started as not even a part of Chicago's, um, you know, uh, city policy, right? So it right, wasn't. Right, right. It wasn't anything that Chicago, it wasn't in, like the architecture of yeah, the city. Chicago wasn't planning this. It was. Yeah. It was a tunnel, right? right? And they they made the tunnel to kind of connect the blue and the red lines. Back then it wasn't blue and the red lines, right? But they made it to connect those two. Mm-hmm. And, you know, right around 1951 uh, and, and after, you know, and after I should say, the city started to rethink, you know, how the loop was mapped out, the elevated loop, okay? So they, the elevated loop was about to get, abolished right they were about to like remove the like the train the train yeah they were about to and and it's significant imagine i couldn't no right i could not imagine chicago without a loop so here's how we came to that the l not the loop i mean the l yeah the l this is about to tear down the loop yeah yeah (laughs) all the money gone (laughs) uh here's how we got here so the plan of 1968 the chicago central area transit plan um that was Formed to kind of rethink Chicago's transit. Okay, uh, now we are at that point sixty eight. We, 
like 70, 80 years of, you know, old Chicago transit. All right. Yeah. Uh, and so they were thinking, let's change some shit up. Right. And this tunnel system still wasn't a part of it. Keep that in okay. mind. So in the plan, the there was talks of kind of removing the elevated L, the elevated uh, rail line, the L. And the reason why they were thinking about doing that is because they were like, well, the population in Chicago is dropping, it's declining, it's not, uh, it's not what it used to be, right? Mm -hmm. And fun fact, Chicago's population at peaked out in the '60s at 3.6 million people, and right now, think about it, LA is 3.0. I think nine or 3.4 million. Really? Yeah. So just give you some context. Uh, so there was a big decline, obviously 3.6. Now we're 2.7. Like you said decline. You said decline. I like that. Okay. Right. Sounds fancy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Look at you <laughs> over there. You know, I'm using, Sir, I'm using Sir good words. You know, you know, Hey, talk that talk. Go ahead. Coin. <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> wow. The things you give me a coin for yeah. are things that I'm, complimenting you that was a good job anyway <laughs> the population declined <laughs> in the 60s the reason why i bring that up is that's why they were think, rethinking about yeah. how can we do this re redo this transit right yeah uh we don't need all these trail li rail lines we could build some stuff here we can we can make things better to kind of keep the population control this population right yeah. uh so they were talking about redoing it instead of redoing it people the powers that be came together and they were talking about hey why don't we not get rid of the elevated loop? Because it's a very unique thing, you know, to America. And it's, it's a part of our transit system, part of our history at this point. Yeah. Uh, why do we get rid of it? And so they started to think, all right, well, let's not get rid of it. Yeah. And what's so, the alternative? What's the alternative? Let's let's see how we can work with this. Mm -hmm. And and so they started they, they started redoing, remapping it. Right. And saying, all right, let's let's really invest in this infrastructure. Right. It still didn't fix that problem, but so many people came to and was like, hey, keep it. Two train stations at that time were uh, were, were kept and renovated to, yeah. be, to be. I love those train stations. Yes. Can and, I talk about the first one? Yes. And, and y'all. Yeah, Quincy. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't know that Quincy existed in the way that it does right now. We'll talk about it in a second. But uh, I literally found out because we were on the train. Yeah. And I saw it and I was like. This is really cool. Like, I've never seen... I was like, this looks different than all the other stops. Looks and I just did a little quick search. And um, they did renovate the Quincy stop to look the way that it does... That it did originally when it was first set up. Um, and it... It was it was renovated that way. It's one of the original stations. It's one of, I think, only two or three original stations that mm -hmm. are still there. Yeah. And you stop... When you stop there... Um, Everything looks old. Even the posters, like there's no ads. There's no modern ads. Right. All of them look like posters from, like some posters are from the 20s. Some po posters are from the 30s. Uh, some are like, go visit the lake. Or like, like it's just so fun so, to look at. It is. It feels dope. Yeah. It feels uh, dope. The, the, um, the benches are old. Yeah. Like they're they're meant to look older. Yeah. It just It's just so cool. It's I, so dope. I, I didn't. I had never noticed it before. And they renovated that one back to 1897, right? So they yeah. so they said, let's renovate that back to 1897. The other one was the uh, Adams and Wabash Station, which is even older than that one, just right. by a year. 1896, they renovated that one. And that one was reminiscent of an L, right? That, that one is reminiscent of an L. And, you know, you might argue that might be the start, the start of the, uh, the loop, the, that area right there. Yeah. Uh, so... Those two stations were part of it. Why am I telling you that? Why are we talking about the Pebway system? Why am I talking about <laughs> trains yeah. and the, the plan? Because the alternative that they thought about was, well, wait a minute. We got this tunnel system <laughs> that, yeah. that's not a part of Chicago's policy that's here that actually connects different peak parts. If we build on it, right. we can actually make it something. So long story short, that is is how the uh it got started it got started and that's yeah. how it became a part of chicago's plan there was a second plan okay in 18 uh i'm sorry 1973 chicago 21 plan that one was more so population mm -hmm. uh you know wise and how are we going to kind of rehabilitate you know the, the surface right yeah of, of it so but that was also part of you know the funding now now five years later uh they have this tunnel that we're going to start investing in. Right. And that is how 
the Chicago uh, Pedway system got started. Yeah. N- go ahead, go ahead. No, I was gonna say it's 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 really cool being in there because some parts like parts of it connect to uh, you can take trains from down there, like not just the L trains, like other trains like going mm-hmm. to the suburbs. One is the obviously the metro, and then there's another one like the south. The South Rail something. I can't remember what it's called. And then you can, like, shop down there. There's restaurants. Like, I've never been down there. Yeah. uh, Mostly because I just never walked around the the loop. I never needed to, like, transport in that way. Mm -hmm. Um, But it's really, really cool. Like, I've I've never experienced anything like that. What it reminded me of is those buildings. Like, we have them in in Jordan. I'm sure many countries have them. But you walk through, like, a small door, and then you go in, and it's, like, a huge market or, like, something Mm -hmm. like that. And you're, like, walking through alleys of markets. Where the hell did this come from? Literally, it it just feels like it's hidden in plain sight. And it's cool that you say that because if you you haven't been there, it is – the, the point of it is to give Chicagoans and visitors and, and people, uh, you know, access away from the elements, the yeah. weather elements. Right. So, you know, the traffic, you know what yeah. I mean? Like traffic can be kind of dangerous if you don't know how to cross it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, the weather, we know snow is, is it sucks. And yeah. honestly, the heat sometimes sucks. Yeah. You know, Chicago's humidity is no joke. No joke. Uh, so it kind of gives you some uh, a reprieve from yeah. All that, right? And it connects to, like, private buildings, yes. private property. So if you live in a building that's connected to Budway, you can just go all the way down and walk across. There's three. And um, it connects to, like, public buildings and mm-hmm. businesses. So if yeah. you want to go out for lunch and you don't want to walk through, like, the actual downtown area, you could just take the Pedway. It's really cool. Now, why? It's very cool because it's got everything you said. Parts of it look like uh, your uh, uh, Ninja Turtles underground sewer system. But, you know, parts of it are amazing. Yeah, it's it's a very cool, unique way to get across the city. Now, there has been, it's, it's it's a very weird thing, and I keep saying weird because it sometimes can be, Hard to navigate, right? You know, it's it's hard to navigate. There's a uh, the the little sign, the Pedway sign that yeah. that looks like a compass that tells you where you're going. And they just recently added those. And and by oh, recent, really? yeah, by recent, I'm talking within the last ten years. Oh wow! Um, that they added these things. I want to say 2016, uh, and maybe a little, maybe a little bit earlier than that. Yeah. That they added the signage down there because when you go when you leave a building, right? It, it, it Chicago's a grid system. Mm-hmm. It, you know, it's kind of easy to navigate. You know, like you go left, you go right, you go up, you, you north, you go south, right? Um, the the, the pedway system is not that. Yeah, the pedway system is literally a maze of tunnels. It's literally a maze that can connect, and they, they don't follow the traditional path. So right. you might be walking before before they had signage, and they're still working on the signage. Uh, before there was any good signage, you would walk. And not know where the hell you were. Yeah. Because you would leave out of one building and then you would just start walking. The tunnels would curve and then you would come out on the other end. Yeah. And you could be completely away from where you wanted to be. Mm-hmm. Or not even going the remotely close direction. So right. that was part of what people said is that, hey, you know. It's not very user friendly. It's not very user friendly. In Chicago, we love it. And we're yeah. not the first, you know, city to have this. I learned. and yeah, We'll find it in a few. But um, we're not the first city to have it. But this is something that we weren't. We're not. It wasn't funded how it should be. Right. You know right. what I mean. It wasn't. It wasn't Take planned care. correctly. Yes. I feel like. I feel like the planning could have been done much, much better. I think some tunnels were put in arbitrarily, and then you want to go back and like build on that. It's kind of hard. Yeah. Um. I think a lot That's of what she said. stuff. <laughs> um. A lot of parts of the pedway aren't completed. Uh, a lot of them don't connect, so you have to like exit the pedway, walk on the street, and then go back down. It's it's kind of odd. Yeah, it is very it's odd. It's very useful, and it could be much much better than what it is right now. So doing research on this, uh, you know, we it's it's really no research <laughs> to be done on this because it's is that. Kind of like nobody knows. Like we know, yeah. but we there's no solid answer to this. Yeah, uh, we found but, the person. But we found the person that kind of is the person for it all, um, and and very fun to talk to. We had a conversation with uh, architectural preserva- uh, preservationist uh, Elizabeth Bloshes. Uh, she wrote a, an article or two, and she's done a lot of work around different things in the city. We talked to her. We found her. We talked to her to see her take, and here it is. Elizabeth Bloshes, 
Uh, thanks for being on the show. Thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. Well, we had to. Um, I told you yeah. before with the cameras off that uh, you were everywhere. <laughs> we do research. And that was, you were the only person to like <laughs> pop up all the time. Wonderful. Yeah. Wow. Well, whenever there's a cool project or something weird in the built environment or something yeah. interesting that's historic, it's luscious. Yeah. Here I am. Yeah. yeah. It, it, which is true. We're not we're not joking. Like yeah. look it up. <laughs> like I'll have the uh, I'll have an article, article on the screen. Links. Yeah, I I have it on the screen. Um but we talk about the pathway system. We talk about what you do and like the reason why you did pop up so much is because you talk about architecture. You want to talk about that a little bit? My architecture? Yeah. Sure. Well, yeah, well, yeah. What well you, 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 you yeah, what you do. What you do. Yeah. I um, am the co-founder of a firm called Preservation Futures. I'm an architectural historian and I'm a writer. Um, we, as Preservation Futures, my business partner and I, Jonathan Solomon, do historic research. Um, we do context statements, design, sort of anything that relates to historic buildings, particularly if those historic buildings are... Um, have unique threats because they are, um, you know, maybe they've flown under the radar in terms of traditional historic preservation practice or traditional architecture practice, or they're kind of on the new end. So buildings from the 70s, the okay. 80s, the 90s, the stuff that's sort of new that's kind of coming into its own yeah. as historic. The people are often place. offended when you say vintage and it's like from 95. Like that is <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Don't. I saw on Twitter that someone had uh, announced today that people born in 2002 can drink. And it's like, yeah. That's crazy. Same. Yeah, that's crazy. That's, I need to think about that. Disrespectful. <laughs> that they grew. Illegal. That they grew. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. What's the craziest, the best, or the coolest uh, piece that you? That's worked like on? asking someone who's your favorite child and <laughs> what's your favorite recipe. What's your favorite recipe? She didn't build the buildings though. What's your favorite like, food? Yeah. Ooh, um, I don't, everything that we did with the Thompson Center, everything that I've written about the Thompson Center, um, every sort of expression of its value, whether it's its architectural value or its historical value or its social value, has really meant a lot to me. But I also feel like it's kind of filled a little bit of a need in terms of really getting the public to understand why places are important. So mm -hmm. I definitely the Thompson Center. And I think that, um, you know, we've seen the fruits of that that work. So Google has purchased the Thompson yes. Center. There's no guarantee that the things that we like about the Thompson Center, like the food court, and the yeah. Sabaro, yeah. Um, are going to continue within this next alliteration, but uh, this next iteration. Yeah. But, um, you know, at least we've laid the groundwork for adaptive reuse. And yeah. the great thing about adaptive reuse is that you kind of only have to prove that a building can be another thing once, mm -hmm. and then it can be as many yeah. things. Oh, wow. So it's endless. Yeah. Endless. Right. So. so it doesn't have to go through that process again. Like, it just, all right, it checked out. Yeah. It's already been <laughs> it's already been proven. So we, we got, unfortunately, kicked out of the mall attached yeah. to the pathway. Yeah. Right. And here we, are, yeah. <laughs> here we are in the Cultural Center. And yeah, the Cultural right. Center was once um, the Chicago Public Library. So, oh, when, really? Yeah, really? Chicago. Half, so half of it was the Chicago Public Library, and the other half of it was the meeting rooms for an organization called the Grand Army of the Republic, which wow. were uh, wow. a group so of union. Kind of sounds a little yeah. threatening. Yeah, yeah, um, a group of union soldiers, um, union veterans that would come together, sort of regularly, yeah. to like talk about the good old days oh, of yeah. war or whatever. Yeah. Um, Forty-eight. Yeah. yeah. So by the 1950s, they had all. Died. Yeah. died. Yeah. So died. here's this whole <laughs> like half of the building that yeah. is not really being used for its original purpose, and then the library, this huge library with way too much space. So yeah. um, you know, the city takes a look at the building with the help of Maggie Daly, who really advocated strongly yeah. for its preservation, yeah. and um, you know, just basically said this can be something else. So here we are yeah, in the are. cultural center. What is the Pedway system? Can anybody tell us what the Pedway system is? Wow. Um, the Pedway system is an informal um, collection of uh, thoroughfares and tunnels that goes through Chicago. Some go through public space, some go through private space. So it's like this interconnected system of, of way to get around the loop. It's not um, fully sort of complete, so you can't really get from one end of the loop to the other without kind of going above, above or maybe yeah. getting, being a little confused. Right. But it's it's a type of, of space in Chicago. It's a type of urban space yeah. that I think is we're, we're very grateful to have, yeah. especially, you know, it's headway season. Yeah. It's like, right. yeah. it's cold outside. You don't want to be out in the snow no. and in the Hell rain. No. And in the, <laughs> not even the heat, really. No, like, no, really, no. 
And there's, there's restaurants in the Padme. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, there's, there's a bar. Like, you can shop. Yeah, yeah, you can shop. There's M Bar. Yeah. There's a Sabaro, which, yeah. you know, big There's a sushi place. There's a sushi place, yeah. There's, there's a sh- there's shoe shine place. There's cleaners. There's drugstore. Yeah. Like, there, there's everything you really need. Barber shops. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Everything is down there. From, it was started as a thoroughfare between the blue line and the red line. Yeah. So that's the sort of first. Um, the first segment of the Padway was mm-hmm. was that section yeah. to connect the um, both of those transit lines. Okay. So. And and the crazy part is we were we were at Block Thirty Seven where well, it we really <laughs> where we got kicked out and that's where it st- we were right where is it that, started. Is that the, I was gonna say because one end sh- was the red line and then the other end was the blue line. Yeah. That's that's another that's a newer part. Oh, but there's, a, right. there's an older part. You might have gone through it if you uh, mm-hmm. take the red line to the blue right. line, yeah. the blue line yeah. to the red line. Yeah. There's that big tunnel. Yes. That's yeah. got the the tiled ceiling, yeah. so it goes yes. from like those sort of blue hatch yep. tiles to the red hatch tiles. Yep. That's the first segment oh. of the pathway. Okay. All right. See, yeah, that's why yeah. we do this to learn this. Cause and then, it, it, so it started what 1951? 1951. It and it's technically still not complete, complete yeah. all the way, right? You would say, like, you think there's definitely either there. It's not possibly being worked on, or will continue to be worked. Oh on. yeah, and yeah. It, it absolutely should be. It absolutely should be, especially as. Um, you know, we're kind of returning to working in the loop, mm-hmm. and there's a, a, an emphasis in you know, now with the LaSalle Street Reimagined Plan, yes. which is sort of a, a, the Thompson Center yep. right. the rehabilitation and adaptive reuse as a catalyst of you know figuring out how to reuse some older mm-hmm. buildings in the loop for housing. Mm-hmm. You know, that the Pedway can very much be a part of a 24 hour yeah. or right. a you know 365 neighborhood. Yeah. So, well, you, we know you now, so uh, <laughs> so we we will just keep our contact ready because <laughs> we block our emails. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm giving we give a number. Well, I mean, you know, I'm I'm also like I cook like crap, so I you know, please, I, I you know, I, I need some help there. Yes. Sure, yes. that's that's all her. That's all her. Excellent, uh, Elizabeth. Thank, thank you for you being so on there. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was Elizabeth. Yeah, that was. That was Elizabeth Bloshes. That was dope. Uh, that was dope. Um, this was actually so we re- we recorded this portion, and if you if you want to go watch the full interview, uh, we'll go to our YouTube channel. It is the full. It's a, an entirely different video than the podcast. Similar information, but you have the full interview with Elizabeth. But we actually recorded this in the cultural center because we got kicked out for the very first time. For the first time. For the first. Did this been like eighty plus weeks? Yeah. First from, time, and and mind you, we got kicked out of from Block Thirty Seven, which is a mall. Yeah, I wanted to be like no one else is here. Yeah, so yeah, they were like, you need a permit to record in here. That's crazy. I, I, you know, people need to know the laws. Here's the law: if it's a public space. <laughs> you can record you, you in can there. Record in there. And honestly, you can record people. You know, yeah. if there's in a public space, if it's yep. private, you can't do that. But, right. uh, but we, we didn't, we didn't want to, yeah. I was like, this is ugly anyway. Let's leave. Yeah. So. Damn. Block 37. How you <laughs> yeah. going to do that to us? First so, one. Y'all got the honor of being the first place to kick us out. Anyway. And so Elizabeth said, so let's go to the cultural center. Yeah. So we did. We walked over to the cultural center. Beautiful spot. Uh, super beautiful. The act, the Pedway actually, you can enter the Pedway right from the cultural center. Mm-hmm. And the interview that we did with her was in that general space room where people can sit yes. and hang out. Um, that right. place is beautiful, by the way. Yeah, and we'll do, we'll do an episode on that by itself. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, very if you cool. haven't been, go check it out. Yeah, um, but just as we uh, did, it is time to eat. You ready to eat? It is time to eat. Let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, get some food. We'll be right back. Welcome back uh, to the food portion of this episode. Uh, so lovely to have you here. Thank you for staying. Yep. And uh, if you are coming back after you stopped listening to this episode, you're ruining our numbers, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. We can tell. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's fine. As long as you come back, that's yeah, all that matters. That's all that matters. Uh, <laughs> so today, uh, as we as we mentioned, we filmed in the Culture Center, and then we wanted to go get food. 
And uh, this is the first time that the food doesn't necessarily di- directly relate to the episode. We often try to stay within a general theme of like why we pick the restaurant. But today we really just wanted to try something that we've never tried before, which is similar to the Pedway. I've never been there before. It was something new. There's a tie. Um, there's your tie in something (laughs) that is will take us out of our comfort zone we're not familiar with here's the thing i love food i've had a lot of food i've eaten around the world um one thing is that well two things one just a reminder if we like something that you don't like that's fine people have different (laughs) tastes okay so don't get your feelings hurt because we have a preference that you don't like but also there's so many different kinds of food that like you can't possibly have consumed a lot, most of it that like i i haven't felt out of place not out of place i haven't felt uh unfamiliar before with mm-hmm. with a with a fu- with food or in a long time welcome to the club yeah well <laughs> <laughs> um i've never had hot pot which is yeah. it's it's insane to say because it's Every time I look, I follow like multiple food pages, and every time I see it, I'm like, "This looks like this looks right up my alley." Like you're literally cooking as you're eating, which is like one of my favorite things to do. Right, right. Two yeah. of my favorite things: cooking and eating. You know yeah. what I mean? So um, one of my favorite things. <laughs> one is the scary thing. <laughs> <laughs> um. So we thought. We asked our friend Carla. She is um, a food content creator here in Chicago, and she goes to some of the best restaurants in the city. So we reached out. I was like, hey, I know you mentioned a few hot pot spots that you like. Can you please give us some recommendations? She gave us a few, um, and we went to her favorite one, which is, and I'm so sorry if I butcher this, it's Shu Long 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 Khan. Shu Long Khan. Yeah. And uh, it is a, it's actually a chain, but not in the sense of like a large conglomerate chain. Yeah, right. it's, it's a chain. So Tony Hu, who has been in responsible really for bringing a lot of these like um, diverse food, uh, res- like diverse restaurants to Chicago, like helping them get set up and, and kind of making the process easier. He was also uh, one of the people responsible for bringing uh Shulong um Khan. Shulong Khan to Chicago. It is on the corner in Chinatown, so right across from the uh the Dragon uh monument. The welcome sign. It, it's it's right on that corner that was that has been empty. There, there right by the entrance, by the arch. Yeah, so in that spot there was a restaurant that had been there for ninety years. She, what? Yeah, they closed in twenty eighteen. Um, wow. And that spot has been empty since twenty eighteen. So now they Jesus. they they fill that space. The space is beautiful what's crazy is i filmed there several times yeah and never realized that that was a vacant yeah it's, wow it's, it was vacant there was a sign for like karaoke but it was the next door i believe and that spot was vacant they've been open for a year uh so december 2022 i believe is when they opened uh no december they only been open for a couple months. Oh, oh December so 2022 is when they opened. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. So they've only been open for a few months. Um, and it, the space is Amazing. gorgeous. Gorgeous. Like, and it, basically their inspiration behind the space was that they wanted to bring out all four elements in there. So you have uh, like fire, earth, water. Wind. Wind. But it's Captain Planning. <laughs> <laughs> um and so it's it's a lot of different elements in the space. You walk in, there's like a welcome desk, and then they take you to the actual main dining area. Um each table has the hot pot um right in the middle table in it and that they would sit the broth uh pot into and then that would like simmer while you're sitting there um and it's just so beautiful it's super colorful it's uh very well like the space is, is it's pretty large but it got packed very, very fast it got yeah y'all i mean if honestly asian themed right um it's, asian it's, inspired so it's Sesh, it's it's from the Sichuan region of china man um and so gorgeous that yeah that's that's where the food is from that is they but they serve wagyu they serve Ugh. lobster um they have their menu is extensive there's a lot of things on there that i have never tried uh they have like duck intestines and stuff like that like i know that that's not something you're familiar with but i've i've consumed all parts of a, a goat i've consumed all parts of a cow so like for me it's not it's not too absurd, but it's like a, an animal that I've never thought you could eat its intestines. But I like love intestines. Yeah, well, you, only you. Not not only no. you. Only in this relationship. A lot of people. In this yeah, relationship, right. yeah. In this two part. 
Yeah, person. I'm, I'm not going nowhere near chitlins. Uh uh-uh. uh <laughs> It's but it's 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 prepared so differently than what you're used to. I feel like it's. It would be worth a try. That's just Mm-mm. that's just the, that's gonna be forever my argument. Is it's not prepared the same way that you've ever had it. Well, that's that's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> that's well, something that I'll never try. That's one thing. That's one food I ain't folded on. I'm not folded. I ain't need no damn. Uh, nope. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, they, you know these these cookouts. Uh, black people get done get to ruin it for me. <laughs> like, these barbecue. Uh, I'm not barbecue. It's like get togethers, man. The chillings they stink. Well, they don't. Oh, That's the thing. If goodness. they have to be like, they have to be. Clean, I blame my mama properly. I blame my mama, <laughs> and she she ruined it. She ruined it. Talking about like you used to like them as a kid. I ain't had no choice. <laughs> I had no choice. Damn. As soon as I put it in my mouth and I smell, I was like, "What the hell?" My nose yeah, buzzed and kicking until at least nine years old. <laughs> yeah, no. you're supposed to. So the way I used to watch my grandma clean uh, goat intestines all the time Mm-mm. and uh, and goat stomach, and you would you have to like it's an intense cleaning process to make sure that they're like ready to be consumed. Yeah, um, now I know, but they're delicious, and you're definitely missing out. Well, um, uh, anyway, the- but yes. So what what you what did you think of the space itself? I thought it was we dope. talk about the food. Yeah, I, I think that's definitely. Well, well, I thought it was dope. I mean, it was, it's, it's a cool space. Um, it really brings you into, you know, that world. Right. And what made it even better is that the manager was really dope. Oh my I God, forgot her name. So nice. She was really dope. She came over and gave us a history of what that particular hot pot was and why she brought it here and what the thought process yeah. is. And she was saying that, um, you know, hot pot is meant to be, you know, warm you up, right? When it's cold right. outside, it's meant to warm you up. Also, uh, the tables are very large in the middle and like uh, you know, some of them and the way the seating is. And the reason for that is because this is meant to be family. And when, and when you know, the Asians get together, you know, eating the, the, the meals, how they typically do it is big setting, lots of food. You know what I mean? It's, it's basically. We heard that culturally, right? It's, we, uh, it's lo- a lot of smaller plates. Yeah, that, and then you can like you consume like as a big family, right? So like that's that was was that's was was cool about it. So like to me, you know that whole experience and her telling that and kind of giving some because I never had it. You know, you never had it. It's dope. It was really yeah. dope. Yeah, it, it 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 was. And and so part of the sit down experience is that you also get unlimited appetizers, which mm. is kimchi, chicken, and um, I think it's like ox or something. Like ox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have this entire table of sauce yes mixtures like and, every ooh. single hot sauce you can think of yes every single topping that you can think of all like literally every sauce that you can possibly want to put on your food yeah and it and you you design it they give you the recommendations what to do yep and you you kind of take it or leave it yeah but i i just went in mixing stuff up let me tell you first thing i had I had chicken of course and i mixed all my stuff i think i had the chili sauce i had the uh, soy, sauce. soy sauce, sesame seed, and then I put another hot, so the hot chili. Uh, you put and like a like a Thai chili paste. Yeah, Thai chili. Let me tell y'all that mixture. If you want to burn your uh, taste, bu- taste buds off, you put, go you, ahead and do that. It's because you put too much. I put uh, yeah, I put a lot in there. Too much Thai chili. That's what happened when you don't know what the hell you're doing. And <laughs> you know, I'm not a cook. I don't. I didn't know what the hell was going on. And your boy almost burnt the roof of my mouth and mm. the taste buds off. You know, before you even had the main entree. So yeah. don't listen to me. As per usual. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, don't you listen to me when it comes to cooking the food. But when it comes to eating that bad boy, hey. Uh, but, yeah, so that yeah. was my first thing. What, what did you get? Um, so I for sauces, I did, uh, I don't know, I, I mixed a bunch of stuff. I did hot, like, uh, the chili oil. I did soy sauce, scallions, sesame seeds. I just did a bunch of different things. Um, and I really just used that for my rice. But, um, so, yeah, let's talk about what we ordered. Yeah, yeah, let's so, transition. Uh, the way you can get the actual broth is three different choices you can get one broth you can get two broths or you can get three and we opted for the two we got a tomato based one and then their in-house spicy one that they recommended and so we ordered medium spice and <clears throat> the manager came over and she was like you don't want the medium spice and we're like why and she's like trust me our relatives from Ch- like our from Szechuan, China came and they tried the medium one and it was just too spicy. Right. Uh, so get the mild. And that mild yeah, that was mild. still spicy. That mild, that mild is hot. And but we, it was like, we like perfect. Like we like spicy. Like I eat raw jalapeno yeah. peppers. So it was like perfect. It though. was the perfect level of spice. Yeah. It did not. It, you know, sometimes but when something is too spicy, it don't taste good. Bearing, yeah. you, don't, you lose the flavor of the food. No, this was like perfection. It was good because like it was right on that edge of too hot. Yeah. And right at the right temperature for like 
perfect medium. Yeah. And and like any hotter, you would be like, all right, now this is a little bit overbearing. Right. Um, but and mind you, this is this is our experience as people that this is our first time having hot pot. So yeah. we really didn't know what the I, hell we were doing. I never had hot pot. I didn't know um, that. Yeah. So that so that first that, initial that first that first uh Spicy one was great, but then the food came. No, but the tomato, yeah, the, the tomato, tomato broth, right? Well, that was that was really really good. That one was not spicy at all. Um, well, here's here's what I was about to say though. We couldn't it, to set to the tone for you since we talked about the food is like, yeah, all that shit flavor tastes good. We didn't know how to get to the point of yeah. the food. Like we didn't know how to prepare. So like when you get the food, what we got was we got like a uh, spicy beef. We got like some uh like some sh- sliced. Mm-hmm. other beef mm-hmm. uh and then we got noodles and some huge ass prawns now each one of those they tell you how long approximately to put into yeah. the sauces we asked i was like uh, we asked one of our servers yeah. i was like can you please help us figure out like how <laughs> long should we cook these in the broth bro like, if you're not, not a sure. cook um <laughs> you you about to suffer in there yeah and so he was like, sure, this beef goes in for uh 30 seconds this one goes in for two minutes the prawns go in for Two to three minutes, yeah. blah, 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 blah. The noodles for like a minute. Um, and yeah. So was, he put it in there. He put one in there for us as a t- and to get that it started. was like that slice perfect. of beef melts in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's like perfect. literally melts in your mouth. I'm sitting there like, yo, it's, it's that hot that it cooks. The, what was the thing that only 15? Oh, it was the thinly sliced meat. Yeah. You put it in there for 15, 15 seconds. seconds. And it comes out. So the first one that we had was the, 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 the um, paste, the tomato paste. Yeah. Fantastic! It was so good. It Fantastic! Was, yeah, it was so good. I mean, it like you said, melt in your mouth, right? And if you so, there's like a slotted spoon at, with, that comes with it. And so, if you grab the slotted spoon and you pull out the broth, you can see all of the seasoning yes. in the broth. Oh my goodness! There's so much seasoning in there. There's so much flavor, layers and layers of flavors in the broth. Um, there's so much going on. Yeah. It's, it's like it was like not. It wasn't overwhelming, I guess, kind of it was. In the um, beginning, I was a little yeah. like, oh, my God, what do we do first? Yeah. But, uh, but there's no rules to it. So, right. like, you make whatever flavor you want. So, yeah. like, you, any one of those, you know, whatever protein you get, whatever food you get, you dip it in whatever you want. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's not a spicy noodle. It's not a right, right. tomato pasty noodle. It's it's whatever, yeah. you know? The noodles were some of my favorites. Uh, I think yes. they're, they're uh, you just drop them in the broth and yeah. then they're ready. Um <laughs> Have we the first one we had with those was the uh the tomato paste with yeah, the noodles. Yeah, it was so good. I, I, Sarah was the cook here, obviously. Uh, that's what that's that's what she does. <laughs> so she was the cook. You put that in there, yeah. and like dropped it down up in there. I was like, and we almost forgot that we went in there. It's so much going on. You pulled it out. I was like, oh snap! Yeah, it was we, amazing. We almost forgot that we had the spicy one because yeah. we were like eating the noodles. And we had, the first taste we had was the, was the, the tomato, mm-hmm. so that was good. Then we were like, "No, dip them in the let's, let's do it yeah. towards the end. Let's dip them in the uh, the spicy." I, I that spicy one was better. Yeah. Was better. It was, but they're both of them are like A and one A one B. Yeah, they were. They're both the broths were really good. Um, we also had uh, egg fried rice. Oh. which it was a mountain of rice. I got oh six bites God. in, and then Dario ate the rest. Look. I, no, <laughs> I looked over. The rice was gone. There was a, two pieces of lettuce at the bottom. I hey, was like, look, okay. I was like, it, it was perfect. Yeah, it was so good. It I mean, was and so good. Here's what was really cool about it: is it had all that flavor. Yeah. And you know how sometimes, like when you had the fried rice, it looked fried, like right. it kind of got that brown hue to it. This didn't. This was like it, it had the uh uh like a, a it was white almost yes. like look, yeah. but like most fried rice. It, like brownish hue. Yeah, it still was fire. It was so. Oh good. my god, y'all! Yeah. And you get a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah, you get a lot. I it's, would say it's good for two people. I was. It, it is good for two people. However, well, unless one of the people's Dario. Then yeah, I uh, buy. If you you come with me, boy, you got to get your own. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like that. Hey, shit. I'm going. I'm fucking it up. You know what I mean? Because it was that good. It was who. And, and then like mix it with everything else was was like perfect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. I liked it. I liked that a whole bunch. Um, the, I think the last thing that we had, you know, uh, spicy beef. We had spicy beef. That was it. Came was, pre-spice. Yeah. And then you dip it in. Tomato was probably the best combination for that one because that with the spicy <clears throat> broth, it was too almost too spicy. Yeah, you know, it was still good, it's still great. But I would say if you want, if you're going for flavor, look at me growing. If you're going for flavor, <laughs> yeah, like layers of flavor. Yes, go with do the, the to- tomato. Yeah, with the spicy one. And there's so many things on the menu. I mean, literally, yeah, like we we stayed 
we stayed safe with our Very choices. Safe. Um, because Dario was with us. <laughs> wow! Wait but, a minute. <laughs> but there are like if Bruh. you if you are an adventurous eater, um, there's a bunch of things on there that you can try that you might have never tried before. I definitely say a guy. I would agree, even though she she slighted your boy. I, I would agree. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> the last thing that we had uh, was the the prawns. Yeah, and, there. These are big ass prawns. These, these bad boys, and you get Ooh. a bunch of them. You yeah, you get like um. We literally because. 10? They take they because they take like a few minutes to cook. I literally just dropped all just of dropped them, them, them all in the, in the, yeah. the end. Like we were cooking a few at a time, but then I was like, I'm just gonna drop the yeah. rest of them in the broth and let, let them cook as they as we and we eat them as we go. Um, and then Dario ate all of them. No, wait a minute. You we did. can't you, keep you, on saying you, I ate. I every. ate two prawns. But you didn't want them. Says who? You the way you was eating. <laughs> Shit. So, <laughs> like, that's so, I mean. That's such a silly response. No, 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 no. Look, y'all, you can tell when somebody wants something when they don't want it. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, was busy, busy smacking noodles. So. Even, hey, look, stop. You ate all the goddamn noodles then. No, I didn't. <laughs> anyway, they were good. They were yeah. But they come with the shell. So you got to be prepared for yeah. deshelling, but also wait until they cool off because <laughs> you're going to yeah, lose all was, your fingerprints. Uh, yeah. That shit gone. If you, if you try to dig, like, once they come out of the pot, and mm-hmm. start to peel them up. You got to blow them bad boys like yeah. a Nintendo cartridge. Yeah. You got to. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> you got to do one of them. <laughs> they give Soup you, cooler they, lips. So they give you uh, a plate for you to eat off of. And then they give you another plate for the broth. Um, I had about 10 plates. Yeah, there's there's a it's it's a plate heavy meal. Shit, it's a napkin it heavy was, meal. Honestly, it was such a fun experience. It was fun. Like, I I genuinely enjoyed it. Uh, I told Carla, I was like, we need to go back with you because yeah. you need to tell us what to order and what we should try. Shit, I know what I'm going. Um, Give me that rice, the <laughs> yeah, rice and the noodles for man. real. Uh, <laughs> but we're definitely going back. Like it was it was our first time, so we were a little kind of like we not know what sure. The, we didn't know what's but, going on. Yeah, this was amazing. Uh, which is nice, slight transition before we head out of here. Uh, next week, if you listen to this on Monday, but uh, Monday, I think that's the twenty second or twenty. Yeah, I think it's the twenty second. Uh, is twenty third? I'm sorry. The year, the Chinese New Year, or is oh, it the twenty second? Twenty second is Sunday. So so yep. next Sunday is the Chinese New Year. It, yeah, next January twenty second, not next Sunday, depending on you. Anyway, you get it. But yes. God, there's a lot of stuff going on around. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going around city. A uh, lot of stuff going on in Chinatown. Yep. Um, so, honestly, if you haven't been to Chinatown, we you talked about this. You need to go. You know. We you, literally took the red line yes. right from the cultural center mm-hmm. right to Chinatown. It drops you right there. And, um, it, like, one of our favorite things to do in Chinatown is to go get food from somewhere. Slurp, slurp. Still one of our favorites. Yeah. Um, this might be up there though. This this is definitely up this there. This up there. But slurp slurp is a is a quicker meal. Yeah. Uh, I would say you're not there for as long. And then go right across the street from slurp slurp. Get you some milk tea mm, and yeah. some boba, whatever tapioca you like. And then go walk to the park. Yeah. Um, right there on the 19th. Name, what's the name of the park? Ping Tom. Ping yeah. Tom. Right over there. Right over it's on 19th. It's such a nice walk mm-hmm. over there. I took my mom when she came to visit. We literally went to slurp slurp. We got the bubble tea. Um, and we walked to the park, and we just walked around the park. We took some pictures, and then we took the, uh, well, at the time we drove, but take the red line back Right home. there. Like, honestly, like, the accessibility is is just there for yeah. you. Um, so and it's, it's really such dope. a beautiful part of the city. Also, uh, we talk about, uh, you know, we talk about the Chicago Public Library. Uh, one of the most unique Chicago yeah. Public Libraries is, is right there. Is right there. Uh, you know, across the street from the uh, from the train. So, yep. uh, stop there, take yeah. a look, and look at the design and the artwork, yeah. and, and get you some history there. And, and actually, look like go in there and actually, yeah, look for because real. Because there is art that is put up in installed in the space that you wouldn't see anywhere else. And the, and the outside architecture yeah, is just so it's unique. Just very looks like a mini Madison Square Garden, and I can't okay. stand the Knicks, but it looks dope. Um, uh, fuck the Knicks, you know, you know, <laughs> fuck them, you know. Uh, but yeah, so uh, go and uh, go check that out yeah yeah um so yeah if you uh, enjoyed this episode please send it someone to you like um and if you if there is something that you did not enjoy about this episode just go ahead keep it to yourself <laughs> uh write it on a little piece of paper soak it in some water and drink it damn <laughs> just okay there's that's a saying in arabic soak it in water and drink it but okay all right y'all we'll see you next monday bye peace
Hey, thank you so much for listening. We really hope you enjoyed that. Please follow us on all social media at 77 Flavors Shy. And if you have any ideas and things you want to learn about, please email us at media at 77 Flavors Shy. Com. Yeah, and if you could also head on over to our YouTube channel, same thing, 77 Flavors Shy, and give us a follow, give us a like, and give us a good rating there. Yeah. Make some comments. Only Go ahead and subscribe. Like we love y'all. See you next week. <laughs>